हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट विल बी ऑन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ लेनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वैल्यू इन द लास्ट सम वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस the other method for solving linear equation in one value like error and trial method operation in both sides simultaneous operation on both side and our today's topic will be on transposition method transposition method for solving linear equation in one variable transposition method is the very important very interesting and long lived method we shall use this method in our further study in future so i suggest to all student don't forget this and try to stay remember this is a very important tool for solving such types of equation okay student so now let us see what is the transposition method first of all we should understand the meaning of transposition the word transposition is derived from two word that is trans and position here trans means to change its position position you know very well what is the position position means its place and about it and to change when we change its position it called transposition so here we shall discuss on the transposition method of solving linear equation in one variable students as we know that every equation have two parts that is left hand side and right hand side okay every equation have two part that is left hand side and right hand side so that when we transpose or when we change the position of the term present in the equation in either side then we have following conditions you can see when we transfer plus term when we transfer the positive term from left hand side to right hand side then we get the positive term we come to negative okay the positive term that is plus change into negative that is minus similarly minus when we transfer the term that having minus sign convert into plus 
okay and the next when we transfer a quantity which is multiplied with another quantity it change in division and similarly division changes into multiply okay and in the same way when we move from right to left the condition become reverse that is minus become plus plus become minus division become multiply and multiply become division okay students so in this way we can transpose the term from one side to another side and we can find out the solution of the question okay students so i hope the basic idea of equation of in transposition method has been clear to everyone now let us understand this method by transposition by some examples This is an given equation. Let us try to solve it by a transposition method. Before solving it, one most important thing I would like to discuss here that first of all we have to decide which term will be transposed. Okay? For this, in the equation, we shall get two families. okay two family we shall get in the equation the first one is the first one is terms having whenever terms that having variables that is x and the second family is terms having no value okay so just deciding this which term having variable and which having no variable we shall transfer them in either side we shall transfer the term which having x that is variable on the left hand side and we transfer the term having no x that is constant in the left hand side and then we can easily find our solution so let us see here how we can solve in this equation we can see that the term having no x is in the left hand side that is 5 and in right hand side that is 10 but the term having x is only in left hand side and in the right hand side there is no any term that having uh, x so here we needed to transfer the term that having x here we just transfer the term having no x and hence here we get x is equal to 10 minus 5 how it become minus in the left hand side you can see easily that here the sign is plus so whenever it will transfer to the right hand side it become negative and here we get 
10 minus 5 is equal to 5. That is the value of x. Okay, student. So I hope the method of transposition is clear to everyone. Okay. Now let us see one more question. In this equation, we can see that the torque having x in both sides as well as the torque having no variable is also in both sides. So here, we need to transfer each term in their appropriate position. Okay, students? So, here, x will be transferred in left hand side and 5 will be transferred in right hand side ok so let us see here we get 2x minus x because here x is positive so when it will transfer to left hand side it become negative and in the right hand side we shall get 10 is at in initial position and when 5 came it become minus 5 as you have seen in the previous question. Here both are the same species therefore they will be subtracted and hence we get 2x minus x is equal to x and this will be equal to 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 and hence we get our required result. Okay students, I hope it is clear to everyone. Now let us see the next question. The next question is eight P plus nine is equal to one. Here the given equation is 8p plus 9 is equal to 1. We have to solve this with transposition method. So let us see. First of all, we shall recognize the torque that having variable that is p and not. So here 1 and 9 are the terms that have no variable. That is why we shall transfer 8 to right hand side. And here we get 8p equal to 1 minus 9. Okay. Here this is plus. So when it goes to the right side become negative. And here we get uh, 8 and p is equal to minus 8. And in the next, here we can see that it is multiplied with p. So when we transfer 8 to the right hand side, we get p is equal to minus 8 upon 8. 8 was 8. So here we get p is equal to minus 1 which is the required result ok student so in this way we can solve such cost
okay now let us see next question let us see one more question p minus 11 upon 2 is equal to 16 This is the given question. Now here we shall transfer eleven by two to right hand side. So we get p is equal to sixteen, and this is minus sign. So when this term goes to right side, become positive. And we get plus eleven upon two. Now you can write like this and add the fraction. So here we get thirty-two plus eleven upon two. And when we solve, we get forty-three upon two. This is the required value of p. This is the required value of p. Okay, Shreen. Now let us see this question once again. <clears throat> the given question is p minus 11 by 2 is equal to 16. Okay. Transpose eleven by two and change the sign from minus to plus. We get sixteen plus eleven by two. And after solving it, we get forty-three upon two, which is the required result. Okay, sir. I hope the question is clear. Now let us see. The one more question. The next question is two multiplied by x minus one is equal to six. Okay. Here two is distinct from x. So first of all, we transfer two. Since two is multiplied with x minus one, therefore, when two transpose to right hand side, become divided. And here we get x minus one is equal to six upon two. Okay. And now solve two one zero two. Two one zero six. Therefore, we get. X minus one is equal to three. But here we did not get our result because there is a constant in the left hand side. So transfer it to right hand side and change the sign from minus to plus. So here we get X is equal to three plus one, and this is equal to four. Which is our required result? Okay, student. So I hope the transposition method is clear to everyone. We shall meet in the next video with new question. Till then, goodbye.